So Red Dead Redemption and Undead Nightmare are going to be coming up to the new platform. They're going to redo it, I guess. Uh, what's it called? Remake? Not remake. Uh, remaster it. Remaster it. So make it look better, make it run better, all that good stuff. See what it's looking like. My name's John Marston. I'm here to bring two men to justice. Bill Williamson. Javier Esquela. I know one thing, Senor Marston. If you are to have your own way, force must be used. Your wife and son are doing well. That's but you try to make sure things stay that way. Hello again, John. We gotta stop meeting like this. August 17th. I didn't think we were gonna be that close. Dang. You know, Monday Nightmare is included, but... It didn't really look like it was much much of an upgrade. So let's see what the controversy. Maybe that's what the controversy is about. Uh, let's hear what my man Spawn Wave got to say about the situation. Which, what is the situation? And it's getting worse apparently. So Spawn Wave. Remember, uh give check out Spawn Wave when you get a chance. Great uh new source for gaming and all of that. Let's get gaming. So yesterday, Red Dead Redemption, of course, was announced. And this is something that's been building up for a while with rumors and discussions around it. Going as far as being a remake, but people were at the bare minimum expecting like a remaster of some kind that at least added some different features to it. And I would say bring it up to what the PS5 yeah, and the up, Xbox John? series are really capable of, which is probably like 4K, 60 frames per second, all of that for an Xbox 360 game. Instead, got a fairly bare minimum port that's going to be priced at $50 and uh, whew. Not going over very well online. In fact, it's only been getting worse on. online, especially. I was, saying, I was reading a comment from John. I was wondering, bro, what does your exposure for your screen set up like? I'm about to change mine up. What? My exposure for my screen set up? I don't know what that means. Tell me later. Let me start this over. All right. Down a little bit. Turn this up a little bit. That's why I couldn't hear that well. Because my headphones were down. We have to see what the remake is going to be like. Yeah. Well, it's supposed to be a remaster, not a remake, really. So yesterday, Red Dead Redemption, of course, was announced. And this is something that's been building up for a while with rumors and discussions around it. Going as far as being a remake, but people were at the bare minimum expecting like a remaster of some kind that at least added some different features to it. And I would say bring it up to what the PS5 and the Xbox series are really capable of, which is probably like 4K, 60 frames per second, all of that for an Xbox 360 yeah. game. Yeah. Instead, got a fairly bare minimum port that's going to be priced at $50. And uh, Ooh, not going like over very that. well online. In fact, it's only been getting worse online. Yeah, didn't Rockstar just go through something with the uh, with the GTA collection that they released? The remake, the the remakes they were supposed to, that they put it over? Like, that? didn't they have a problem with that too? Like, what's going on? Online, especially on social media and other media sharing websites but something has happened today that's starting to make people realize okay coming up here pretty soon there's probably gonna be a fairly massive announcement that's probably gonna 
well, I would say definitely excite fans of Rockstar and some of the games they've put out, but might even make people forget about the whole Red Dead Redemption situation. However, we'll go over that here today. So if you guys enjoy these videos, make sure that like button and subscribe if you're new here to the Spawn Wave Plus well, he channel. Said, go, First, go let's take that. a look. This is posted up over on Twitter. We're to the point, by the way, where accounts are tracking the like to dislike ratio for uh, for for the reveal trailer that Ooh. Rockstar posted up. And it was re-uploaded by a bunch of different channels. Of so it wasn't just me like, that. Like Nintendo didn't look uploaded that one, uh, PlayStation did, and then Rockstar just had one uploaded as well. And I, I noticed that on Nintendo's uh, channel, their video didn't really get downvoted much at all, actually. And in fact, Switch owners seem pretty excited about this release. And really, if you think about it, for the Switch, I mean... It, it never had, like, Nintendo's I mean, never had Red Dead Redemption or anything like that, whereas Sony had it on the PS3, even had multiplayer there, and this yeah. port to the PlayStation 4, uh, I feel like a lot of people are looking at this realizing there's a lot left on the table, whereas for the Switch, this would technically but wait, they didn't bring the multiplayer over the either? only official release for Red Dead Redemption that would be played as a in portable mode or a handheld device if this game had been announced for PC which still blows my mind, by the way, that there is no port to PC, at least at the time of this recording that's been announced. You'd have a whole host of different handheld devices that would be able to oh, play. I never knew I mean, that it wasn't Steam on Deck, PC. ROG Ally, Lenovo apparently is working on one. You have all those Ioneo systems coming out like every other month or something. So there'd be options there. And then the modding community would go absolutely wild <laughs> with Red Dead Redemption. It'd be some impressive Facts, stuff to see. Especially with the but Undead as Nightmare. Of now, they've reached over 100,000 dislikes. So uh, the community continues to push back heavily on what's been announced. It's just, it seems strange because during their investors call that happened just a, like an hour or two ago, it's pretty clear that they've made a lot of money from GTA 5, right? It's like 185 million copies. Oh, that's why. They, sold, they don't care. Mind blowing stuff. You feel like you see a game like Red Dead Redemption that is very coveted, I would say, especially by fans of, of Rockstar. Of course not. And you feel like they would have put forth a better effort than what we're hearing about. Not necessarily that, uh, what is it, Double Eleven that's behind that's behind this port so, would necessarily do a bad job. I've actually been told that it's in good hands. Since it's port. just a port, but that means what? 1080p, 30 as far 30 as FPS? Rockstar and Take Two want it to go, right? So. I'm sure they could say, you know what, let's go for it. Let's do all these really cool things. Let's make it more like this remaster remake where people can't really tell if it's a remake or not. Kind of like Metroid Prime Remastered, for example. But they decided not to, and they pushed it out for first. That, hey, according to Strauss Zelnick, is I am not with, getting that for $50. Uh, market expectations and where it should be. So they, they certainly believe in that $50 price. But during that conference call, something else came up that definitely had me looking at this like okay well to be honest in like six or seven months potentially uh a lot of people who are frustrated with red dead redemption are probably going to to be honest forget about this and it has to do with plans that take two has for making a lot more money like more than you would normally expect for them in a year. So this is from Strauss Zelnick, where they say we remain confident that we are positioning our business for a significant inflection point in fiscal 2025, which we believe will include new record levels of operating performance. And you might be wondering, okay, well, what, what kind of operating performance is he referring to? Well, so wait, fiscal 2025 would technically start April, 2024, and it would run all the way until the end of March, 2025. So, so we're actually not that we're far getting... away from this fiscal year that they're What's referring to here. GTA 6? Up. And last we heard over, this is on uh, Gamatsu, and it was from May. So last time they really discussed financials and all this. that They were uh, looking to ship several groundbreaking titles in fiscal year 2025 and expects to achieve $8 billion in net bookings. Yeah, that, that's what we're getting. Which they GTA had 6. reported uh, $5.5 billion, right? This most recent. A fiscal year so they are looking to increase quite substantially actually like 50 percent more or something and of course you start trying to put the pieces together like all right well what could they announce what would come out that would make them a significant more amount of money in that fiscal year well the GTA obvious 6. thing and we're all thinking it is gta 6 and yeah that's that, that's pretty much where i am as well i 
we saw those leaks for GTA 6 that were mostly in development, <clears throat> right? It was, it was probably pre-alpha even because you saw – like you saw reactions and different bits of the AI that would pop up above the NPCs' heads, depending on what the person was doing when they were basically QAing and testing and seeing how things would run. So that was like pre pre alpha stuff. But even that looked pretty good, all things considered, which is really funny. I know people online looked at it and said, This looks terrible. Like, what are with these graphics? And it's like, guys, it's literally like the early stages for the most part of development before they start actually polishing and adding in bits and pieces that would present what you'd end up seeing in the final yeah, product so. for GTA six. But still it, we know that they are in like, f like, like full on development process for GTA six. That was announced by like anything like else like that GTA this year. bundle. So the, it seems like they would be pushing <laughs> towards Red that Redemption. release potentially in <laughs> yeah, fiscal yeah, year. They're, they're pushing uh, toward that GTA six. And it kind of feels like they line up for a holiday 2024 dollars. release. But that also means they'd have to announce it somewhat soon. I feel like for GTA 6, you'd want to have a good the good part of a year for the build-up, marketing, and all of this, right? It does kind of lean into the idea of them doing a reveal event maybe at the Game Awards, but Rockstar kind of likes to do the reveal on their own terms really whenever they want. Like, we could wake up one morning and the video is out. There's a press release. GTA 6 is coming and then they just have like 2024 as the release year for it. And that would play into the idea of them having a massive fiscal year starting again, April, 2024, even if the game came out right towards the end, like let's say it can't make the holidays and it comes out early. Well, it sounds like so to me, February they or put March all the money. 2025. The GTA wouldn't matter. It's going to be probably the biggest launch we've ever seen it. in gaming. The day that they announce it is going to be ridiculous ridiculous online like it might crash the internet for all we know but this is something that's been building up they're for just a putting the, this stuff these grand theft auto 5 out came out that were supposed to be that we all thought would be it will be the 10 remakes. year anniversary for this now game. remakes remasters at the end of this year <laughs> it spanned it three generations i remember buying it on the xbox 360 like, thinking here, this take amazing this while we, if i had gone back in time and this. told myself hey you're gonna be playing that game on this thing called the xbox series x that's that's two generations from now. I I thought you were crazy. I'm like, no, there's there's no way they're gonna release GTA Six probably the next generation. But here we are. So I guess ten years should be enough. And I mean, look, they're probably gonna do GTA Online Two. I think they'll be done with the current one and mm -hmm. probably add in all kinds of extra features and other things that play more into maybe the interactivity with multiplayer. And there's the whole I know there's a whole role playing section that's really popped up online maybe playing into the idea of more social media stuff as well so a lot of possibilities but it does appear that uh, that take two is basically signaling that the announcement is getting very very close for gta 6 especially if they're looking to make eight billion dollars in net bookings next fiscal year but mm. let me know what you guys think about this one down below whether it's Red Dead Redemption and the announcement, if you're soon disappointed, or maybe you're excited that it's coming to the Switch. And then let me know about GTA 6. Do you think when that hits, a lot of people will forget about the whole thing with Red Dead Redemption? And will they get really, really excited about finally getting a new Grand Theft Auto game? Thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Yeah, man. That's definitely what's going on. They definitely just... Wanting in all the money, the GTA 6, and nothing else. And you're just putting this stuff out so that y'all, so that y'all, so that we have something to play while they do that. What y'all talking about over here? But, uh, remember, give the video a like if you, uh, Spawn Wave is a great, uh, source of the gaming news. So, uh, go check them out. All that good stuff. Now, let's get to the gaming portion of the evening. In. I'm hiding out, wilding out, cooling down, collecting thoughts till I find my route. And if they catch me, they'll be finding out what I'm about. Until then, I'm riding out. I'm hiding out, wilding out, cooling down, collecting thoughts till I find my route. And if they catch me, they'll be finding out what I'm about. Until then, I'm riding out, riding out. 
I'm a desperado. I'm living it in real life. What's next to follow? I hit the bottle.